Ikorodu with 1,790, just as we said in March, and Ekpe with 1,730. An announcement by the Lagos state government reverberates. It's not in short of panic for some Lagosians. We, however, focused in two areas, starting from the island. Busy and bustling is Abraham Adesoya, an area peculiar with floods. For years, residents here tell me how bad it gets. We have new development, new estates, putting a lot of pressure on existing facilities and infrastructure. Worst hit areas are further down, he tells me, giving evidence on his mobile phone. Lucky Abraham Adesoya, as you can see, is no joke. The challenge is extensive. A canal sits completely blocked. The resultant effects are visible. The drainage cannot adequately evacuate the water that's coming down from about two kilometers away from Ogombo Road. As you can see, this drainage is so small. So when the water comes in, it doesn't have enough place to flow out. So this whole area gets flooded as a result. Work on the canal has commenced as many hope for reprieve. On the mainland, however, seeming silence pervades Oronshoki. A closer look says otherwise. Everyone here is worried, including the children. Glue written on their faces. Their grandmother tells a story of hope. Lost. Flood is too much. All my property destroyed. We have to manually fetch the water out with a bucket. When the water comes, it gets to my waist. We need help. Houses at Olabode Aluko sink slowly. An official we met traced the root cause. Last year and the year before, it was terrible. What about now? It's better now. His submission is further buttressed by a youth leader. Major problem is this sand filling. Before the sand filling, water used to pass through into the lagoon. But now because of the sand filling, it's finding it too difficult because there's a lot of blockage on the way. Dredging of the canal for some brings relief as they crave results for work done, saying that a permanent solution beckons. Gimba Umar, Channel's Television News.